just to, to introduce you, whether you're already familiar with some technology or not, uh, to introduce you to the state of um, building blocks, um, concepts and technology for data spaces um, to Gaia X and IDS, where we consider um, IDS as uh, the prime technology that enables sovereign data exchange in Gaia X. And both, both of these technologies, both of these initiatives are dedicated a lot to interoperability and they are driven by interoperability in them is driven by semantics. These are some slides that I stole from, um, from Gaia X, uh, the federated um, secure trusted decentral and so on data infrastructure that, um, that was initiated uh, from within Europe a few years ago and is now quite international. And um, well, these are, these are motivations that are certainly not unique to Europe. So that, um, well, that data processing is increasingly happening at decentral locations that um, when, you, when you hand over data to others, um, there is not always transparency about where it's processed, by whom, whether you are still uh, the sovereign over your data, where data sovereignty roughly means that um, when I when I send my data to you, and when this data is, for example, valuable to me, that I remain in full control of what you will be doing with my data. Um, then there is well, there is the, the strong desire to um, to build data spaces in various sectors, for example, uh, mobility or energy. These are among the most advanced sectors uh, in Europe overall, and also in, in many uh, individual states um, where data spaces are currently being built. But um, well, these, in order to interoperate, as we will learn also in further sessions today, these data spaces require um, common languages, vocabularies, ontologies, and that's all um, well, still emerging. Then there are multiple technology stacks. Uh, there are not, not always our services available, accessible through, um, through standardized um, APIs. And there are multiple stakeholders having multiple diverse needs. And there is, um, there is not necessarily clarity about what jurisdiction is applicable when, um, when data is exchanged across uh, country borders. So, um, well, Gaia X is, and also, as you will see from the next slide onwards, international data spaces are initiatives um, to address this problem. So, to create digital infrastructures, um, the material, um, both in terms of technology, but also in terms of governance, uh, to, to build ecosystems in which um, innovation can be created around data and data driven services. Ecosystems in which um, in which there is transparency about who is who is offering what um, subject to what conditions. Ecosystems in which um, in which data owners are remain the sovereigns over their data, and ecosystems in which um, while the dependencies are not that well not I would not necessarily say reduced as it as it is written here, but in which um, dependencies are made clear. For example. Um, ecosystems in which um, a wide, broad range of um, um, well, existing data offerings and existing service offerings is available, such that that any new party entering the market uh, can can easily uh, make 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 or buy decisions. Like lo looking at what is available, um, um, <clears throat> purchasing some existing say service offerings, and then and then putting some added value on top and selling that again, for example. This is uh, the well a high level figure of um, of the Gaia X architecture, um, and that is um, well that that explains the whole scope. Um, in the lower half of the X, um, there is um, infrastructure, as in, for example, store storage in the cloud, uh, net networking um, networking infrastructure. At the top, there is there are data ecosystems with um, intelligent services and AI. This talk is not exactly about AI, but as as uh, as you, Sebastian, said in your moderation, um, 
It is about foundations that enable AI. For example, the as the fair data principles, um, they are not, not about AI in themselves, but when you want to do meaningful AI, not just on your, let's say, running um, um, <clears throat> a machine learning model on your local machine, but when you want to do it together with others, when you want to make a business out of it, then you need data interoperability and you also need findability, accessibility, and reusability. So in that sense, um, the FAIR principles and also the architectural principles of GAIA-X and, and IDS um, get data and services ready for meaningful AI. Um, so in, in the upper half, uh, there is AI. And what, what is it that, that, well, that makes everything work? That is what, what GAIA-X calls um, the federation services. Um, IDS has a similar notion of essential services. And these are about, um, for example, there is a catalog here that enables others to find the services that you're offering. There are services that, um, that uh, manage identities and that enable um, participants to build trust among each other um, when they don't, do not necessarily know each other yet, when there are no paper-based pre-existing contracts. Then there is, and then there, is, um, there are services that make sure that data exchange is sovereign and uh, that everything is going in compliance uh, with the rules. IDS is, is basically what, what enables sovereign data exchange here um, via um, usage control um, over data of, even after they have been they have been sent to some other party. And these well, these standards of IDS and, and Gaia X, they are in we are in continuous alignment with each other um, in in these aforementioned working groups, but also in overarching initiatives such as the Data Space Business Alliance. Now, what is interoperability in um, uh, this is the second to last slide. What is interoperability in GAIA-X and, um, and IDS? Um, first of all, this, is, uh, this enables the building of use case and application in sector-specific data spaces, but the technology in itself is general and domain agnostic. Um, it is based on um, both IDS and GAIA-X. They are based on the same W3C standards, and um, they are offering extension points for specific use cases. Gaia-X has a focus on services and IDS has a, um, IDS has a focus on data. In Gaia-X, uh, participants offer, well, providers offer services. Services are composed of resources, for example, a piece of software, a piece of hardware, and a piece of data. Um, and consumers who want to consume services, they get them prov provisioned by the providers as service instances. And then, well, and then the consumers. It we are mainly in a B two B system, so uh, the consumers then then um, pro provide, um, let's say, a mobile app um, to to their actual end users. That's that's the high level view of Gaia X. Um, IDS has a, takes a closer look on on data, so the focus is not so much on well, what is the service being offered, and then okay, what what data does the service provide. But the focus is on data and asking questions such as what is the endpoint to which um, a certain well, data product is available. And um, the, the participant role, the main participant roles are called, as you can, as you can see here, data, data provider and data consumer. So in, in a very simple, uh, minimal IDS uh, data space is just a peer-to-peer -peer network of some providers and consumers and all the other services, um, identity provider and so on, they well, they they make it they make it work um, in they make it work in practice when there are many participants who do not know each other and who do not know what others are offering. The information model of the IDS um, here in the upper right this is based on um, on a lot of, well, mainly in these gray boxes, you see mainly W3C standards. Um, and we, we try to, to address all the concerns. Uh, that's where these many Cs come from. Um, all many concerns of data exchange content, concept, uh, in what community um, are we working? Um, then data is a commodity. For example, what is the price of data? How is data communicated? And in what context is the data to be interpreted? Last slide, a bit more about the process and about trust in um, 
trust in the offerings of services and of data. The, of data, this is the Gaia X view um, and how trust is enabled in interoperable descriptions of, of service offerings. So when I want to provide a service in Gaia X, I make claims. For example, my service is ecologic or it is hosted in the EU. Um, and then um, trusted, well, third, independent third parties can uh, confirm these, these claims by signing them. And um, for whatever purpose, uh, say when I want to enter into business with someone, I can, I can choose to present some of these confirmed signed claims to others. Um, yeah, and well, the standardization and implementation of this is in progress. Gaia X has started a few years after IDS. Um, so what's currently being implemented is all this machinery that's, that, that helps people to go from claims to, to trust. And um, yeah, that is, that is currently emerging. And um, we will see a lot, a lot more to happen later in this year. Mm -hmm.